I couldn't locate any specific video tutorial tutorial on using WinApp to edit the preset, so I thought I'd just show you myself. I'm gonna start by opening the line input. This is Control L on the keyboard. Oops. Control L and then type line in one word slash slash open. Okay, now the line input is recording. You can see it responding to my voice here. And then I'm gonna set up Milk Drop by going to Visualization Select Plugin. Make sure Milk Drop is selected. Configure. There's all these options. The important one for now is Select Fonts. Make sure that on Simple Font, a large enough size. 16 works for me. This will ensure that we can do the thing. And then I'm going to push OK and go ahead and start the plugin. All right. I'll close the preferences screen. So right now um, it's on the scroll lock mode. I'll turn that off. With the scroll lock mode off, it means the plugins will transition from one to another. While that's going, I'm going to hit uh, 4 to see the name of the plugin that's playing. And there you go, there's the first transition. Now if we're going to edit the preset, the plugin, the preset, uh, we don't want it to transition like that. So I'll use spacebar or H to until I find a preset I like or that is kind of simple. Let's try to change the parameters. These are all pretty complicated. That one's pretty good. So the lock to stay on this one. So F1 brings up um, a list of commands. All interesting commands. The one I'm going to focus on now is the preset editing. The F1 again. And then M, the M key. These are different fields that you can edit. Turn that down a bit. So I'm going to start with the motion. Mount. I'm hitting enter to go in the screens um, when you're actually on a bit escape to go back to a previous screen. But then you can use the left arrow key to go up through the screen key again. Left arrow key takes me out. M key. Right arrow key takes me into the screen. Escape gets me out of the editing mode. So right now I'm not editing, I'm just choosing different variables. Right arrow key or enter to see the, the value of that variable. Up and down to change. You can see the screen is kind of flying at us. Zooming out, the screen is kind of flying away from us. I'll have it coming towards us because it's kind of cool. Okay, push enter to save this value. It's only saved temporarily for as long as I'm looking at the preset. If I were to change and then come back to this one, all of the stuff, all the changes would be erased because they haven't been saved to disk. It's a different process. It's a different key to save it to disk. Anyway, let's look at some of these other variables. It's a simple way. I don't think, oh, let's look at the custom waves. Custom wave one is on. I turn it off, that one disappears. Custom wave two 
is also on. Let's try turning it off. Alright. Turn it back on. Let's see. Change it to dots. That's not very helpful. Let's turn this one off. I'm gonna go back to the first custom wave. Okay, so these are black lines. Could change the opacity. So these are the different variables you can see what effects they have. I think this is the number of audio samples used per, in each frame. You can simplify it by turning this down. You can't just enter numbers directly, it's all done through the up and down arrows. Formulas are entered here. Variables are, uh, they're like preset names. These are not arbitrary names. They're all built into Milk Drop. Uh, control Enter to save changes, which also brings up, you can see all the read only and the variables that you can actually change here, all the built ins. I just changed the shader and that had that effect. So the, you can see there's a bunch of uh, uh, formulas, equations, that have different effects. Not all very clear, you just have to play with it. I'm going to comment out some of these equations just to see what the effect is. Not much of an effect. Uncommenting something the author commented it. some kind of shader affecting the color, so I'm not able to just change the color the way I would like to. Well, kind of can. I'm adding more red. Strange effect. I think all the colors are inverted, so it's the exact opposite of what you would expect to happen. Yeah. So if I take down the red, the more red, which turns the whole thing orange, orange and green. So let's get rid of the red. So usually it's the said If I were to turn this value up, I would see more red, or I'd see more green. 
but they're doing some kind of shader that's inverted the colors. Yeah, not sure what the mystery parameter is. Oh, there's something like that. Anyway, so that's uh, editing milk drop. M key and use the left and is up and down, right? And then F1 shows you a list of commands. F4 shows you the name of the preset. H scroll lock set uh, doesn't change while you're editing it. So now I've turned scroll lock off. And eventually this like that. Anyway, there's the basics.